Hello everybody, welcome to another part of uh, Trust Tech Plays or something and also as the title says uh, game giveaway this time I'm gonna give away the key for a slightly more well-known game than the last time uh, speaking of which uh, last time the, the game Space Cam never actually no one actually asked for it yet so if you are interested in that please post a post please post a post yeah a comment in that video comment section so uh, for this game this time I'm gonna give away the game Sword of the Stars 2 enhanced edition which I think contains everything that it has been released so far I'm not entirely sure it is a steam key and all you have to do to win this key is to post a comment down below of on this video saying that uh, you want the game that's about it now, as for the rest of the video I'm gonna play a game of conflict the Middle East political simulator it is a safe state uh, from uh, last time I played this game for for the video so yeah let's do this so if you just want the game to win the game well not win it's not a it's not it just post and if you are the first I see you get it uh, so that's about it you don't have to watch anymore if you are interested in watching uh, the game here that I'm gonna play, please do so. Let's do this. Alright, and here we are, the first game of this uh, uh, game. Let's quickly check the stats between our nation, our state, and uh, the other states of the region. Uh, most of them are quite good the worst the worst is of course with uh, Libya but we don't really care about Libya since they cannot reach us and they are not that hard to to destabilize if you have to at least early on now the thing is when the stats in the beginning of a game are as good as this this can mean one of two things Either that everybody is willing to improve their relations with you or they're falling. So let's check each country. Egypt. Egyptian diplomats are engaged in talks in Amman. So they are probably trying to improve their relationship with Jordan. This is very dangerous for us. I'm gonna see... Okay, our relations with Egypt at the present time are workable. So we can improve them. Let's try this. Intelligence. I'm not going to try anything yet. I want to make sure that the relationships first, the relationship between our countries are stabilized. Uh, let's check Syria, our next most dangerous opponent. Okay. So our relationship, our relations with them are favorable which means there is a good chance of being able to get even better but our relations with Lebanon are a problem for them so this might make it impossible to improve them yep you're probably too friendly with opposing factions to yeah yeah so if I want to improve my relations with Syria I should um, deter it deter, deter Ah crap, reduce my relations with uh, Lebanon. I'll consider it, first I want to check the intelligence here. Okay, internal stability firm. Firm is good for them, but not the best. I'm gonna attempt to start serious anti-government opposition. Let's quickly check Jordan, who are probably going to get into very good relations with Egypt. Ah, this is bad. Jordanian diplomats are acting aggressively towards us. 
That's bad because it means they don't like us that much. Okay, what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna try to improve lessons, even though I don't believe we'll be able to. And at the same time, I'm going to attempt to start series on the government group. If the relations with Jordan deteriorate next turn, and my relations with Syria improve, and my relations with Egypt improve, I might be forced to attack Jordan so that they cannot form an alliance with Egypt and make it uh, almost impossible for, for me to attack them in the near future. Lebanon. The Lebanese government is unhappy. Okay, let's maintain them for a second. The government has total control of the state. Yeah, I don't trust that that much. I'm gonna reduce relations with them, sour relations, so that I can improve relations with Syria. Next turn, hopefully. Now let's check Iraq. Workable, okay, let's improve them. Okay, they are hmm, Not sure why they don't want them. They don't want to improve relations. Let's check Iran for a second Favorable, that's probably why Let's him hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try and maintain with Iran for now Yeah all right, let's make policy. First of all, always nuclear club. We need the nukes, and then buy uh, AWACS or the British equivalent if you want to. That noise came from upstairs. And also, as I usually do, actually. Okay, how much more do I have to pay for them? Not much more. Okay, I'm gonna in, in, increase my bombers, my bombers fleet. Okay, so I'm gonna have 10 bombers next time. That's good. That's very good. And um, yeah, let's see what happens. Iranian and Iraqi youth class causing outcry. Iranian embassy stormed by, pro by protest in Baghdad. Syrian border towns fear Lebanese army presence. Iranian strike attack on Iraq does little damage. Wow, many things happening this time. All right. First of all, of course, Iran and Iraq are probably going to go to war. Not 100% yet, but uh, close enough. And then Syria and Lebanon the same, which could be used to our advantage. First of all, let's check Egypt. That's very important. Favorable. Okay, let's improve them. Uh, Libya. Indifferent. Okay, I don't care either. Um, I don't want to improve my to try to improve my relations with, with Libya, in case that causes trouble with me trying to improve relations with Egypt. Jordan. Okay, maintain for a second. I want to see what happens with uh, Syria, my relations with them. Favorable. Okay, I'm going to improve them. At the same time, I tend to start. Lebanon, diplomatic, workable. Spoil them. I want to improve my relations with Syria as soon as possible. And yes, they are probably going to go to war with Iran. I'm not going to get involved. I'm going to see who wins this war. Jordan, Lebanon. Okay, so Jordan. I'm going to spoil my relations with them. Spoil them. And just in case, let's support insurgents as well. And quickly, quickly try to uh, increase our presence on the borders with them as soon as possible. Nuclear club, we only have 13 million remaining, so let's put them there and next turn. Alright, fighting starts as Iraqi front knocked back, so they are at war with Iran. Iraqi tank losses were to be high. Industrial targets hit by Libyan bombers in Egypt. That's great. 
Light military damage by Syrians on Lebanon. I okay. Panic as Syrian soldiers set Lebanese village alight. All right, so that's very very interesting. All right, um, an Egyptian Jordanian joint arms agreement has been signed in a man. The same time the relations with Libya is leading to war. Okay, let's try to improve relations and attempt to start anti government. Now that the relations with uh, Libya is uh, quite bad, <coughs> excuse me, they might think that uh, it is Libya who is actually working against them. Jordan, diplomatic, spoil quickly. We need to destroy them as soon as possible. Now, Lebanon. Syria and Lebanon are on the brink of war. Yeah, Lebanon cannot now actually spoil them. Lebanon cannot um, uh, defend against Syria for 10 or perhaps 2 turns at best. Unless, of course, Syria is already at war with someone else. Okay, try to improve relations as soon as possible and support the insurgents. Jordan, uh, jo I did Jordan, yeah, I did Jordan, okay, <laughs> I did Jordan, yeah, um, Iraq, yeah, Iraq doesn't look like it's gonna win it, but might be too soon to say that, like, Paul, 61 million, what the fuck is going on with the money, okay, continue finding nuclear weapons, Jordan, alright, uh, full scale, quickly, need to be able to attack, uh, next turn. Oh my. Okay, so Libyan government collapsed. Looks like uh, Egypt uh, managed to destroy them without attacking them. Uh, Lebanon uh, was uh, well lost the war against Syria in one turn, as expected. And car bomb found in a man was made in Iraq. Oh my! That's fantastic news. That means deterioration of the relations of uh, Jordan with Iraq. Which means that uh, Jordan doesn't like Iraq and Jordan is allied with, almost allied with Egypt. Which means that Egypt doesn't like Iraq. Which means I must support Iraq as much as possible. But first I want to check what is going on with Syria. Good. We can sign a military pact. Fantastic. And now we can support... Okay, I'm not going to support Iraq just yet, but I'm going to support intel um, uh, insurgents in Iran. Because I want Iran to lose the war with Iraq. Jordan. Diplomatic. Um, yeah, I don't give uh, two fucks about it. Support them, and I don't know if I'll be able to attack them this turn, but... Okay, continue funding, and let's buy... We're gonna need lots of stuff. Mm, nothing yet. We're gonna see how much I'm gonna lose from the war. Okay, we can attack. The, okay, they have a large-scale um, activity, deployment, basically. But I don't think they're expecting me to attack just yet. So they might have three brigades at best. So I'm going to attack, invade. At the same time, yeah, I killed by a few... Okay, actually I'm going to buy light tanks because light tanks are what I cannot buy from the private dealer if things go bad trade barrier between Israel and Syria removed excellent invasion Israeli troops storm into Jordan armored division fought it out as Iraq falls back that's banned Israeli war machine gets into gear for battle which means of course that we are winning and Saudis favor Iraq over Egypt in all deal as expected what? Yeah. As ex no, actually that has nothing to do with it directly anyway. Okay, first of all, Syria. That's what is most important now. Excellent. We have an alliance, which of course it's not uh, something that cannot be broken. Ah, crap. So we have detected uh, 
presence of nuclear fa uh, power thingies in uh, Egypt. We can sign a military pact. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna try to sign it. I don't know if it will go ahead or not. I'm not going to do anything with intelligence just yet. At the same time, I'm gonna bomb them. Now, Jordan, how is it going? Yes, of course. Continue. I don't care what they think. I want to destroy them as soon as possible. Iran. I want to topple their government as soon as possible. And Iraq. I want them to survive. So I'm going to disrupt insurgent groups as much as possible. Okay, I have enough money to increase my nuclear funding. And check what is going on here. Jordan. Okay, I'm definitely winning this one. Uh, I don't have to, but I am going to deploy all extra forces to make sure I win this battle as soon as possible, this war. Although it, it will mean that I'm going to lose a few more units than I perhaps I need to. And I'm going to do a tactical airstrike on the Egyptians' uh, nuclear installation. I cannot uh, let, uh, as far as I'm concerned, Either Egypt or Syria get nuclear weapons. Okay, nothing wrong with Syria. Purchase arms. And let's actually... They might do something similar to us. Uh, no. Tell you what, let's buy more light tanks. Good. Um, and turn. Israel celebrated victory as Jordan is defeated. Excellent. Sorry. Uh, General Anarchy of Jordan again collapses. Bangladesh. Ah, oh, crap. Leaves Israel fewer pilots. Middle East is uh, mi Middle East in relative peace as summit approaches. Uh, yeah, thankfully we destroyed Jordan. And uh, Saudis favor Syria over Egypt. Ah, that's good. That's good because it means they are probably not going to get into an alliance between each other. And uh, it's quite amazing that I have perfect relations with both Egypt and Syria. That's very, very rare. And I see their governments are not as uh, strong as uh, expected. Good. That's very good, but we have to destroy the nuclear facilities there. Alright, the military alliance hasn't been disrupted. And I'm gonna see if I can... If I... Yeah, I have to destroy the nuclear installation, no matter what. Trade talks have started between Syria and Iran, that's bad. Support insurgents then. And maintain presence. And uh, let's try to support Iraq as much as possible now. Improve. Ah, crap. That's... Hmm, okay. Disrupt insurgents. And let's see what we can do to hurt Iran. Support insurgents. And Saudi relations. Good. Uh, yeah, Jordan is under our control. It's... Well, c kind of. I mean, as far as you are concerned, uh, the game is concerned, they are out of the picture and that's it. Oh, the US Foreign Secretary has hinted that the summit is likely this July. We might be able to get rid of the Palestinian problem. Let's have a look. Completely under control, leave alone. Hmm. Okay, nuclear club, continue funding. How much bombers do you lose? We lost three bombers. And we definitely need more bombers and um, armies. As you can see, we lost lots of tanks and aircraft. All right. Uh, first of all, first of all, let's uh, nuclear uh, not nuclear attack. Let's attack the nuclear installation of the uh, e Egyptians. Let's make sure Syria is okay. Yes, good. Now, purchase arms. I'm gonna need more bombers. Uh, the Americans don't give us any. The British do though. So let's buy 10. That should cover it for now. And get uh, the third dosage. No. Uh, well, yeah, why not? 50 tanks. 
a New Haven Middle Eastern Summit called by the United Nations Security Council. I don't really need to attend. In fact, I'm not going to attend. Syria and Iran declare military pact. That's terrible. And Egypt is... Ah, fuck's sake. Another bad attack. How is our lessons? They're quite good. As soon... As long as you don't actually manage to add, to destroy them, the relations will probably remain relatively high. They are doing okay, but we need to destroy them as soon as possible. Okay, Iraq. How is Iraq doing? Mm, disrupt them and help the government and attack. Fuck's sake, I don't want them. Support the insurgents. Good. That's it. Mm, 381, that's good. Continue funding and forces are terrible. Alright, we're gonna need 30 airplanes, SAMs, and tanks. Yeah, let's get SAMs first. 100 units will do fine. Middle East tension mounts is harming under mind. Iraq Iranian war is in six months as lines folder. Okay. Iranian air superiority breaks Iraqi division. That's bad. Well, guys, uh, I ran out of hard drive space. Thankfully, we didn't lose much or anything, I think. Uh, yeah, let's continue. Egypt. Diplomatic attempt. Uh, maintain. Good. As far as they don't care, we can quick um, keep at trying to destabilize them. Iraq. Ah, oh crap. I'm I'm really scared about Iraq. I don't want them to, and we cannot fucking destroy their relations. That's that's annoying. Improve. Yes, we cannot improve. Ah, crap. Oops. Other affairs. Syria. Ah oh, crap, no, 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 fuck. Two bad things at one. First, the border dispute between Syria and Iraq, which means Iraq is gonna lose no matter what now, unless I interfere. And Syria has a nuclear facility. Let's support them and uh, yeah. Okay, first of all, can we. Okay, I'm gonna try to improve my lessons with uh, the American trader. So that I managed to buy bombers from them because, from the looks of it, the British bombers suck ass. At least in this uh, battle, in this in this uh, campaign. Right, Syria, tactical airstrike on nuclear installation, and the same on the Egyptian one. Let's hope I don't regret this. Iraqi Empire is stormed by protests in Damascus. Big troop loses for the Iraqis. That's usually because uh, the Iraqis um, move troops to the border with Syria. Israelis destroy Egyptian nuclear reactor. That's fantastic. Israelis destroy Syrian nuclear reactor in Iraq. Excellent. Selective Iraqi targets destroyed by Syria. That's bad. That's bad. All right. Let's see. Okay, our lessons got hurt a bit. Egyptian sources deny that destroyed nuclear site was used for bomb making. Yeah, I believe you. Sign military pact because you're French, right? Support and Syria, the same thing. A military pact has been signed between Syria and Iran. Shit. Syria and Iraq are on the brink of war. Syrian sources deny that destroyed nuclear site was used for bomb making. Iraqi government castigates Syrian strike attack. Okay. Sun Pak keeps supporting the insurgents. And you have to do something quickly. Can we improve the relations with Iraq? Yes, finally. Alright, disrupt insurgents and uh, keep supporting them here. Although the chances are that Iraq will not last more than a couple of months. Okay, nuclear club, 
And the new funding should be ready soon. Okay. So hopefully they don't have anything else yet. I'm not going to move troops because they're going to be useless now. We cannot attack. And we cannot draw enemy troops to the borders because our lessons are so good they know we cannot attack. Hmm. Iraqi Islamic fundamentalists spread violence, so they have problems inside too. Large loss for Iraqis in war against Iran. Syrian forces hit Iraqi troops on new front. Syrian allies celebrate victory over Iraq. General anarchy as Iraqi government collapses, and we are screwed now. Unless we manage to destabilize Ir uh, Egypt and um, uh, Syria as soon as possible because they are not going to let us go quietly into the night maintain supporting them and see Iraq my old friend improve but yes of course also try to destabilize them okay, nuclear club come on Purchase arms, USA. Uh, actually, yeah, more helicopters should do fine. We don't have enough money to buy lots of units, but we might be able in a couple of months if the USA government give us uh, money. Syrian joint arms agreement. Shit. <sighs> okay, so they are going for an alliance with Iran. That is going to be very, very painful for us. But this is fantastic. The Egyptian government is unhappy about the relations with Iran. Yes, because they are different type of... Basically, the Iran supports the Islamic Brotherhood in Egypt. Who are... Um, um, oh shit, I keep confusing their names. Anyway, they are one of the type of Islamists. It, 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 let's not go in there. Okay, support insurgents. But yeah, okay, I'm going to sour relations. I don't mind. They are doing the same thing anyway. Good, very good. We have a very good um, access to their uh, internal. Um, thingy so let's support activities see if we can improve them and at the same time let's okay try again to sign it apparently we didn't do it last time because syria is uh, not in a very friendly way looking at us now or something and they signed a joint arms agreement with iran that's terrible for us okay Keep supporting the insurgents. And nuclear club, please continue funding. Okay. Purchase arm USA. Good, finally. Okay, let's buy five bombers. And let's buy 50 more helicopters. Good. Ah, crap. Wait. No. Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay, maintain present and keep supporting insurgents. Iran. They're aggressive. Okay, fuck them. Intelligence, support them. I don't think Iran is going to last too long. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to improve the relations with Syria. For as long as I see it is possible to. Well, basically. I know they are not going to get improved, but they are going to slow down in terms of deteriorating. But I don't care because I now have nuclear weapons. Ha! Alright. Ah, this is the worst time to attack Egypt. Tactical air attack on nuclear installation. This is the worst time. The reason is uh, the uh, that uh, because it is December. And um, can I take it back? I don't remember. No, fuck. Okay. 
it might affect how much money USA is gonna give us. Um, let's not buy anything yet. Next time. All right, two billion is not bad. Two billion is not bad. I'm going to increase defense spending. We're gonna need them soon enough. And the size of the army. Israelis destroy Egyptian nuclear reactor in strike. Excellent. Our international prestige is unrivaled. Of course it is. Egyptian sources deny that it was used for bomb making. Yeah. So you don't have any problem signing another military pact, do you? And turn Iran. Yeah, Iran. Oh, fragile. Fantastic. Iran needs to go because they are very dangerous when they try to support the Palestinians and they are even more dangerous when they can support Syria with money and troops. Improve intelligence, support, very solid, but we now have more options which means we have some access to the inside of Syria. So we need tanks and aircraft. Alright, can I, I want to buy... Okay, I cannot buy them from here. I can definitely buy them from France. Can I buy them from Britain? No. Okay, I can definitely buy them from France though. Okay. 35. Well, I could buy 35 of them. Hmm. And I'm gonna have um, more than a billion remaining. To buy about 500 tanks okay let's buy 35 fighters from France and talks and let's buy 650 I have 400 something okay let's reach 2000 first and then I'm gonna see if I'm gonna buy more 150 50 Ah, come on, for fuck's sake 50 50 Okay And I think we can buy, yeah, 50 of them as well Good Policy direction, yeah, yeah, I know Syria is going to be a problem soon enough Very soon enough uh, support insurgents come on we need to uh, make the Syrian government collapse support them and yeah we're heading towards slowly but surely good we have uh, our original army plus two brigades let's improve our system Okay, first of all, tactical and airstrike because you need to destroy it before they manage to Im to get more. I'm not going to spend any more money on um, arms for now. I'm going to gather the money I have. We destroyed them, the nuclear. Oh shit! I don't know if you saw that, but my relations with Syria have dropped dramatically over this last month. Doesn't. It's not strange, of course, but let's continue supporting. Yeah, okay. Let's try to improve, but at the same time, of course, I'm gonna have to move forces uh, in the border of Syria because we are heading to conflict no matter what. All right, I increase with small scale. I'm gonna see if I can do three brigade brigades there. Alright, the terminal unrivaled turbulent. Okay, how about oh that's very bad. Ah crap, come on man. Stop getting nuclear stop trying to get nuclear weapons. It's very bad for me. Intelligence dangerous low weak, good. Intelligence support them. How about is diplomatically? Indifferent. So we have two or three turns before we go to war. It's not gonna be enough. I'm gonna have to. Okay, first of all, let's attack the nuclear installation in Egypt. Has some troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some troops. Okay. 
full scale and let's not buy any weapons yet Syria inspired Arab disapproval of, Iraqi re of Israeli regime Israelis destroy Egyptian nuclear reactor and airstrike alright can I improve the relation yes I can good and keep support the insurgents so I must not have to go to war with Egypt close to revolution the present government will not last out this month okay then tell you what assassinate the leader although I don't have to do this I want to for the score for once let's try to get some higher score if possible okay we are we are basically going to war this turn with Syria good thing we did a full-scale deployment all right always keep the security of Israel in mind I do I do need more troops all right it's full scale and we are at full scale I'm not going to do anything I'm going to let them attack me so maximum further deployment so we have all our forces in the border with Syria and I'm gonna need um, helicopters to destroy the uh, enemy tanks uh, yeah Israeli terrorists arrested in Tehran general anarchy as Iranian government collapses UN try to patch up Syrian Israeli relations US chair summit give high hopes for peace panic as Israeli soldiers set Syrian village alight so strangely enough I'm not at war I, I, I was expecting Syria to invade All right, maintain uh, support firm that's good so it means it has deteriorated ah, I ah, that's 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 good actually that's very good because now I can attack them um, yeah try to restore friendly relations and keep uh, trying to kill them good now review forces okay we have three helicopter 300 helicopters I'm not going to use them yet because I'm going to ah oh, I cannot you ah oh, crap Oh, that's unexpected all right maximum further deployment let's not do anything yet and how is the Palestinian problem doing completely under control good let's leave it at that then call but I don't really need to not attend fighting starts a Syrian front knocked back Israeli tanks take over in Israeli Syrian war good morning all right Okay, lessons with Egypt are not as good as I hope to be. So let's try to destabilize them as soon as possible. Because I'm pretty sure the Egyptians see this as an opportunity to um, attack me. Uh, support them. I need to destroy Syria or topple their government as soon as possible. Because you don't know when they manage. Well, we will know when they manage to uh, deploy nuclear weapons. <laughs> but um, I whatever I lost my train of thought now okay the front line has dropped behind probably because they attacked first but as you can see we are we definitely have the upper hand now I could use the, my nuclear weapons but I don't think I have to so continue campaign and not only that but I'm going to buy a shit ton of light tanks because light tanks help against enemy infantry next turn initial tank battle loss for Syria so they keep losing tanks good Israel against territory under Syrian retreat as you can guess that is fantastic and a nuclear installation again in Egypt improvement alright and support okay let's take a look Syria uh, very solid okay keep supporting keep supporting review forces 950 okay strategic action yeah yeah I know you're at war we're definitely destroying them deploy all extra forces 
and quickly attack the nuclear installation. We don't want them to have nuclear weapons. Not now, not ever. Okay. Ah, crap. Our attack on uh, the nuclear installation failed. And our relations with Egypt keep deteriorating. I might have to do take some drastic measures if things don't improve quickly. Make policy. Review forces. Okay, we are not losing troops. And Syria. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good, that's good. But we need more troops. We need more planes. We need more everything. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, here you see one arms agreement signed with an expenditure of 300 million. That's usually gifts if uh, you haven't bought anything and that appears. And this heavy two blows for Syrians. Good. How is Egypt? Workable. Ah, crap. Support insurgents. Syria. Syria has suffered large casualties. Firm support. I don't want to use nuclear weapons, but I might have to. Alright, Egypt. Tactical like airstrike on nuclear installation. And we are definitely winning here. But we might need 2-3 turns. Oh my. <clears throat> Continue campaign. And let's buy more light tanks. Copy on light tanks, another 1000 units, and, and turn. Good, Israel against territory. Israel destroyed the Egyptian nuclear reactor, that's good. And it, our relations with Egypt are terrible. Support and support. Syria, how is this going? Moderately solid. Okay, let's, let's, let's take a look quickly. Yeah, yeah. You see that 150 heavy tanks? Well, that's main battle tanks. That's uh, our gift from before. Probably by Americans. So we have at least two, two months before we win this one. And after that, the problem is that uh, is uh, Egypt, uh, let's see, is peaceful. Mm, take no action. This is a big risk I'm going to take. I deploy all extra forces. And I'm gonna need to buy more units soon. More tanks. Middle East tanks on mount, Syrian troops tire, Syria, Syrian troops lose ground, and our relationship with, with Egypt is terrible. Terrible. Intelligence. I don't have any other. Okay, assassinate leader. It's tiny chance of succeeding, but. Not impossible. Uh, consider extreme measures. Yes, I'm gonna try this. Uh, Sustained leader as well. But I'm gonna have to use nuclear weapons. The reason for that is because uh, Egyptians are moving troops. Syria. Okay, and this is so bad because. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, withdraw. No, it's not going to do anything. A single brigade. Okay. It's tempting. I'm not sure if we're going to win this battle, this war, this turn, or not. Because even if uh, the uh, arrow moved entirely to the right. That doesn't necessarily mean that Syria will lose the war. So, do I risk using nuclear weapons, winning the war? Or do I not deploy nuclear weapons, uh, launch nuclear weapons, and risk not winning the war, which means that the Egyptians will be able to have enough troops on the border, so but in two turns from now they'll be able to attack me without any opposition and win
and the Syrians, as far as I know, they don't have nuclear weapons yet. I cannot risk this. Launch thermonuclear attack. Go ahead, punk. Make my day. And let's see what we can buy. Well, we cannot. I'm not going to buy anything by the. Actually, I'm going to buy. No, no. Let's quickly try to improve relations with the private dealer. And 50 units. And wish me good luck. Ah, fuck. Israeli terrorists are arrested in Damasc Damascus and uh, negotiations fail as Egypt prepares for war. At least it happens. Israelis use nuke. Damascus dissolves in nuclear fireball. The end of world is nigh, says BBC. So what happened? Uh, they had uh, nuclear weapons and uh, possibly the Soviets actually supported them. Crap. Well, you know, shit happens. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Planet Earth. Uh, if 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 you hadn't lost this, I'm sure we'll, we'll be be doing much better in terms of score. So you hang on to power for a long time. There's only one state under Israel control. You committed copious acts of violence. Relations with the U.S. are sour. Our prestige and it is unrivaled. That's good. And uh, leadership style fascist. Yeah, that's usually the case when you go to wars uh, on your own. And aggressive wars. The end of the game. As the world is drawn into a nuclear holocaust, holocaust by your actions, you wonder if you could have served mankind any better. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. And um, see you next time. Bye.